G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we're here with the 9.1 boss, Orochi X23. Here I almost quit out the fight because I realized that I had Cable in, but I didn't actually use Apoc, so I didn't have the Horseman ready. I just used Jabari to rinse through the entire path, the bleed one. Uh, but yeah, here with my rank three, seven star Storm, making sure that I have power back boost, fully boosted, every kind of boost you could imagine. This is Storm at her absolute highest. Um, way overkill by the way. I have a 5 star solo shortly after this so if you're going to click away, don't click away, what are you doing? Um, but yeah, here, Storm, you'll just see how ridiculous this is. I kill this champ in a minute and 18 seconds according to the fight timer. Start off by getting smacked to get my increased combat power rate, you know, by getting hit. Uh, I do have the Black Panther synergy which also increases my combat power rate. There's two of them, 5% each, so 10%. Not a huge difference, but, you know, it's every little bit counts, I guess. Uh, every bleed that Storm gets, she gains prowess. So, yeah, those uh, bleeds from getting hit or in the block or basic attacks is really going to help. That makes Storm an amazing choice for this fight. Because, you know how she has regen? <laughs> you can't regen 95% of a special that kills you immediately. So, and power back boost. So, immediate special 3 again. That was phase 2 done. On to phase 3 here. Uh, you'll never guess what I'm going to do. I'm going to click the special attack, tap the screen to fail the challenge, skip it, on to phase 4. Here we are for phase 4, different strategy. What I'm going to do is click the bottom left hand side and then tap quickly to then kill her immediately. Skip the special attack, but yeah, this is just ridiculous. Um, I don't know if they didn't see this coming. I actually saw it on the YouTube channel Kaisers or Kaisers MCOC. Their link will be in the description. Yeah, massive credit to them. I didn't even think of it, but they posted Professor X doing this. Um, so yeah, I was like, well, you know me and Storm, and I thought of the bleed, so I was like, this is going to be so dumb. And it was a minute and 18 seconds according to the fight timer. Um, yeah, Storm is just insane. Once again, rank up your Storms. She does everything. Now, for those without a 7-star rank 3 maxed out at the game currently Storm, um, I have here a 5-star solo. 5-star Storm is rank 5, but not ascended, so very achievable power level. Using the exact same strategy, but I am not able to one-hit obliterate every single phase. I have to do a bit of ramping up, so that's just kind of what is being showcased here. I have the Titania Synergy, very powerful. I used it for Glycan, just means that when you use a special attack and it deals damage, it actually doesn't give any power. Um, and then the other main things here is Horseman Apocalypse, which just gives some extra attack rating and also an unstoppable safety net, which actually does save me. Uh, and then the White Mags Pre-Fight and also Synergy, just to give some extra attack rating and ability accuracy. Ability accuracy isn't very important because none of Storm's abilities are chance. It's just on crits she gains uh, prowess. On heavy she pauses her prowess. On getting a bleed, she gains prowess, and special 3, if she's awakened, a special 3 will give her 2 prowess. She gains 1 prowess per bar of power used when she uses a special. Uh, that's the awakening, along with extra shock potency, but we won't be using the shocks here. So yeah, jumping in with, again, the power back boost. So full boosts, I didn't need, like, you don't need full boosts here, you just got to ramp up more. Um, because, yeah, with... Orochi's special one, you can heavy counter it quite reliably, um, but which again pauses the prowess, so very helpful. Here I should do that in a sec. I found the best. I was initially doing some weird stuff with tapping light, but you don't actually need to. Just wait and then dash back. Perfect spacing for a heavy attack. And yeah, she's pretty aggressive, so generally she's going to dash in. You may not want to risk it, but you know, once you play this game enough, you kind of can feel if they're dashing you or you can see it coming and get your nice little intercepts. But yeah, the first part of this fight, the massive build-up phase, is just build up as many prowess as you can. Again, if you're awakened, each special 3 is going to give you 3 prowess, each special 2 is going to give you 2 prowess. And if you're not intercepting or using relics too much to um, get heavies to pause the prowess, you can actually cycle special 2s when you're at a certain amount. Or you could, because you'll be regaining 95% of that health. Um, here I'm going to rip the first special 3, it will not kill, um, unfortunately, but yeah, depending on your rank it might at 22 prowess, but again, I could be tanking more hits and taking more bleeds, 
but I figured I would showcase a very safe approach and you can take as many liberties as you want when it comes to taking block hits, that's a safe version, um, or just regular hits if you're, you know, wanting to go for the speed kill. But yeah, again, another special 3 here. This one does actually kill um, because she, you know, had some poisons on her so she didn't gain back that full health. She was at 50. And so here I go in for a full combo, always going for the full combo if you're confident that your special won't kill. And here, because I have Titania, it doesn't matter if this kills or not because she'll just be at a special 1. It does not kill and she gains back a lot of that percent, but that's fine. I'll just bait out the special, heavy counter it, special 3. Do this, does this kill? No, that's fine. Hit her again. That's three more prowess than last time. Here I did go for the pause just to make sure to make sure I'm confident uh, that it's gonna kill or you know that if it doesn't kill I'm not gonna be stuck here with expiring prowess because you don't want to lose all that ramp up. So here we are into phase three I'm pretty sure. Um, and so here I'm gonna dash in, I'm gonna relic, I'm gonna heavy. That gives me my best chance at more prowess and also pausing them all. I'm going to special 3, and again, Titania, so she's not going to be getting power, so worst case, let's see though, yep, here we are, worst case, she's just going to special 1, here I heavy counter, removed, gaining a few more prowess, I decided to do it twice, just to kind of increase my chances of getting a crit, I didn't, so no more prowess, but that's okay, special 3, that's up to 60 prowess, I knew this would kill, because yeah, she'd already lost some health, but here we are into phase 4, I'm going to dash in, I don't have oh, do I have relic? Yes, so I'm going to relic, I'm going to heavy, and up to 63 prowess, I'm going to special, I'm pretty confident at this point, if I hit the 20% it's going to kill, and it does not, so rip, we're back here, but that's okay, heavy counter, didn't because I really thought it was going to kill, there I got clipped, um, took a bleed, gained more prowess, but here I was like, okay, this will definitely kill at this health, and then I could just dash into the next phase and get kind of my rhythm back. So here we go into phase five, yeah, five with the fury. So I'm hitting in, I'm gonna special three. I'm like, this should certainly kill at this point, and it does. So I know phase six is going to be a button press, but I think I still do a full combo, just in case. Let me, yeah, full combo and then relic, because yeah, she can't reach special two anyway. So I might as well give myself the best chance. But either way, it would just be special 3, and then special 3, and then special 3 until she's dead. But it, you would not take that many, because she won't be regening. So yeah, there we go. 5 star solo, very easily. Um, just with that power back boost, very important. Massive cheese. Uh, they're 10k loyalty, you can buy one a week. So yeah, definitely grab one and get the solo if you haven't done already. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, catch you in the next one. Cheers.